there are a series of specialty tools that you will need to perform this job, as the cam shafts will need to be locked in place while you remove the actuator. Please see the link at the end of this article for a connection to our website for a complete list of all the tools and parts you will need to accomplish this job. Begin by removing the air filter housing assembly fasteners, indicated by the yellow arrows, and disconnect the airflow meter electrical connection, green arrow. Loosen the airflow meter clamp, green arrow, then disconnect the duct from the airflow meter and remove the air filter housing from the engine compartment. Working at the left front corner of the cylinder head cover, disconnect the crankcase ventilation hose by gently squeezing the release tabs and pulling it away from the cylinder head cover. Disconnect the Vanos solenoid electrical connector, indicated by the green arrow. Squeeze the metal release clip and pull it off the solenoid. Using a 19 mm wrench, remove the Vanos oil line below the oil filter housing. Cover the line and opening to prevent any dirt from entering the Vanos system. The purple arrow indicates this opening. Remove the valve cover and the engine cooling fan with shroud. Please see our articles on how to remove the cooling fan and shroud as well as the valve cover for additional assistance. Remove the plastic camshaft cover from the cylinder head by pulling up and off the cylinder head. Use a 22 mm socket on the crankshaft pulley fastener to rotate the engine. Rotate the engine clockwise until the first camshaft lobe points towards each other, indicated by the green arrows. This brings the engine to cylinder number one top dead center position. This is the first step in locking the engine's timing position. Next, you're going to remove the dust plug from the crankcase. It is located below the engine inside the mounting reinforcement. This photo shows the plug, green arrow, on an engine removed from the vehicle for clarity. The purple arrow points to the engine oil pan. Remove the plug from the crankcase. The dust plug can become stuck over time. If needed, pry it out using a flathead screwdriver. The green arrow points to the dust plug and the purple arrow points to the throttle housing. Next, install the crankshaft locking pin tool into the hole the dust plug was removed from. When installing the tool, push it in until it bottoms out. Slowly rotate the engine until the pin drops in about another 12 millimeters further. Once the tool is installed, confirm the crankshaft can no longer be rotated. Follow the instructions that came along with your special tool kit to ensure proper use. Remove the studs at the rear of the cylinder head using a 10 millimeter deep socket, as shown by the green arrows. Install the camshaft locking jig at the rear of the camshafts, indicated by the green arrow, the jig should slide down onto the square ends of the camshaft. Now secure it together. Follow the instructions that came along with your special tool kit to ensure proper use. Working at the front of the Vanos actuator, remove the upper 8mm Allen plug. Next, remove the lower 8mm Allen plug. When you remove the lower plug, be prepared to catch a small amount of oil in a container. Using a needle nose vice grip, pull the plastic plugs out of the Vanos actuator, indicated by the green arrows. There is only one plug for each camshaft. Next, you're going to remove the Vanos fasteners. The fasteners are T30 torque and left hand threads. To remove, rotate them in a clockwise direction. Remove the engine hoisting hook fastener and remove the hook from the engine, green arrows. Remove the seven 10 millimeter Vanos actuator fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Slide the Vanos actuator off the cylinder head and remove. Be prepared to catch excess oil with a rag. Remove the Vanos gasket and clean the sealing surface, then install the new actuator gasket. With the Vanos actuator removed, Swap the Vanos solenoids and exhaust camshaft sensor over to the new actuator, green arrows. 
I suggest replacing the exhaust camshaft sensor since it has a high failure rate and this is the easiest access you will have to it. Once you have moved the vanos solenoids and camshaft sensor over to the new actuator, install the actuator on the cylinder head. Install the vanos actuator fasteners and tighten. Install the engine hoisting hook and tighten. Next you will install the left hand thread vanos fasteners and tighten. Be sure to use the correct amount of torque. This connection is very important. Install the plastic plugs. They'll just push back into place. Then install the vanos actuator metal plugs. Next remove the camshaft and crankshaft locking tools. Reinstall the studs at the rear of the cylinder head and reassemble the valve cover and other items removed. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.